here's a great idea for if you have a few flowers. Now, I know that my friend Bonnie from Gladaway Garden sent me these gorgeous glads and I've got lots of them, right? But what if you have two or three or four glads hanging out in the garden and you wanna cut those and you wanna make them into a centerpiece for your table? This is an idea that I actually learned from my friend Bonnie and she taught it to me at the World Flower Expo. And so I wanted to show you how we could make a great little arrangement if we just have four or five flowers, okay? So um, look at these lavender glads. I mean, oh my goodness. Look at how amazing that is. Isn't that beautiful? And again, the secret to opening these was that I started a few days early. I cut the glads. We also have a prep, uh, a prep video that you can watch here on, on uh, YouTube. Um, but I cut them, I tipped them, and I put them in Chrysler Professional 3. I put them in cold water and I left them at room temperature and the GLADS did all the rest of the work. That's the amazing thing about the GLADS from Gladaway Gardens is that their performance is incredible. And um, so we just love that. So let's say we have four gladiolas that we, and we wanna make a centerpiece like this, okay? So what are we gonna do? Well, first of all, we're gonna use Oasis Midnight Foam, which I have in here. I have soaked this, it's, it's a two thirds of a block of foam. I've soaked it, pushed it down inside here in flower nutrient water. Again, the Chrysler Professional 3, I soaked it in. And I'm using my foam knife. This is my foam knife from Garcia. And people ask me about it all the time. I don't know if they still make them. I've had it forever. Uh, Ramon gave it to me a long time ago. It was designed by Johnny Childers. And Johnny Childers was such a great friend and so talented and just such a great product development guy and everything. And he created this foam knife because it's the same distance as a block of foam. And then you can cut with it. And it's got a little um, edge, a little, I don't know what that is on the bottom so that your finger doesn't get in the way. And so it can cut it straight too. It's amazing. I don't know if they still like them. Who knows? All right. So we've beveled our foam all the way around. Okay. And the reason that we do that is it's easier for us to create a rounded arrangement if we've beveled with our foam. Okay. And my foliage I'm going to use today is one of my favorites from my friends at Fern Trust. It's the Ruscus. I love it. And the first thing I did when I got it in was I cut it and put it in water for 24 hours. And then look at it just revives. It's so beautiful. It's just going to be great. And let's say, well, you know what? We have four stems of glads. Let's use four stems of rescus. Make, make sense? Okay, there we go. And obviously, um, you can pick up foliage. Um, I, I think that's great. You can go to a professional florist and ask for a few stems of your favorite foliage. Um, many stores sell a foliage bouquet. That's great. Um, you can also, you know, there's so many different opportunities. You also could cut it out of the yard if you wanted to, too. You know, say you were growing your glads in the yard, you'd have other foliage that's maybe growing out there, trees or things like that, that could help us as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our my compact pruner from Dram Tools. It's one of my favorites. It's the color point ones. I try and make them match my shirt. <laughs> so I have my green shirt on, have my green tools. This compact pruner has very sharp little pointed blades, and it's great for dissecting these because as we've done with other projects, if you've watched other projects, you're going to know that I cut these apart. But if you've not watched another project, let me show you what I do. I'm going to go on the back side of this glad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut between those two blooms. I'm going to cut between those two blooms. I'm going to cut between those two blooms. And so now look at what I have. I have one, two, three, four pieces. And this is what I told you Bonnie taught me. Okay, so now I can take those blooms and I can start to create my flower arrangement using those individual blooms. Now I could also do this if I just used water, I could do a grid on top of this container too and just stick them down in there too. That would be great as well, okay? But um, I love using the new Midnight Foam. And one of the things I love about the Midnight Foam that's so great is the fact that when you're using it, it is, um, it, it's the coloration. It's this black color once it's soaked. And it looks like a shadow 
rather than a green piece of foam. Cool, right? Now look at, I have placed two stems of flowers in there. And look at that. It's already looking remarkable, right? I mean, I think that that's kind of fun. So, you know, we can, we can continue with our project. So one more, one more. This one's gonna be like that. And this one's gonna have two on it. Bonnie, I'm, cha I'm channeling you as I'm making this. Your amazing ingenuity and creativity. You've got me all inspired to make this bouquet. Now look at that, right? It's just going to be really fun, really great way for us to do this. And you know what I'm going to do? Okay, so I've talked to you a lot about topping, and I think that that's important. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to do the same thing with our ruscus. We're going to cut it apart into little pieces so that I can go in there. And so the topping I talk about is the fact that I don't like to put all of my flowers in in order. I like to save a couple for topping, okay? And what that means then is that I can go in here and if I'm covering up one type of foliage or something with what I'm creating, then I add a little bit more of it later on on another level and it helps it be on top of the other items in the bouquet. One of the things that I love about flower foam, and people ask me all the time about flower foam, because I know that, you know, sometimes flower foam gets a bad rap, but I love the fact that, um, A, just so you know, this midnight foam from Oasis is biodegradable, and that's an improvement that they have made over the years um, in response to, you know, people's requests, that's wonderful. But the other thing about it is that when I'm using flower foam, I have the ability to make a strategic placement with my flowers or my foliage, which means if I want this to go right there, that's where it's going to go and that's where it's going to stay because the flower foam allows for those strategic placements. Now, look at, I've used, I, I separate, I, I love that. The Ruscus had the same cutaway ability that my Glad did, right? That I could divide up one stem into four or five placements. That's really, really great too. So here we're going to go again. We're going to have one. We're going to have two. We're going to have three. And we're going to have four. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Just look at how pretty that is. And so I'm just going to kind of look at my arrangement and I'm going to determine where I need those other pieces and parts. I think I need one right there. You know what? Strategic placement. I want it to go right there. <laughs> right exactly there. That's where I want it to go. Okay. And then this guy needs to go right there. So now look at that. Look at how quickly and easily I took those four gladiolas and I made a beautiful centerpiece that we can sit on our table with the beautiful ruscus from our friends at Fern Trust. This is a, a, a East Coast meets West Coast because the fabulous foliages at Fern Trust are grown in the perfect location um, in Florida on the citrus bubble where is the, it's the perfect place to create foliage. And these glads from Gladaway Gardens are grown in the central coast of California, the perfect spot on the planet to grow beautiful gladiolas. So East meets West, uh -huh. in this beautiful Bonnie-inspired arrangement from our friends at Fern Trust. Our final step always is that we spray with Chrysler Professional Glory. This is going to help seal the molecular structure of our flowers and allow them to last as long as they possibly can, approximately 26% longer after we've used that, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this quick, easy arrangement using the beautiful Glads from Gladaway Gardens. Until next time, keep having fun with flowers.